All right, hello and welcome to another Filmageddon Results Show Spectacular! With me, the Quizmaster, uh, that's me, Frank Soldado, and of course, my filmy friend, he's over that way, it's Mr. Adam Grundy. Hello, Adam, how's it going? Uh, it's, it's okay, Frank, it's going well. What a fantastic quiz that I saw, I'd say 80% of. <laughs> that, the, the best 80%, I would say. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was good. Good chat. Good yeah. chat as always. As always, there was uh, lots of lots of people in the house. Good to see some familiar faces return as well to take part in the quiz as uh, we get down to the the waning months here in uh, 2021. Uh, just in time for uh, you know another wave of the pandemic to slowly yet surely come our way but uh let's not talk about that let's get right to it well let's get right to uh to the results here adam normally we stretch these out we go over the answers but we figured you know what we go over the answers during the quiz so there's no point in necessarily going over them and also don't want anyone looking over the uh, answer sheet with a fine tooth comb either because we've got the way we grade and that's good for us <laughs> it's good enough in in real life you can storm the stage and uh... I, you know, demand things be changed, but this, yeah. Not so. At some point when we have a, a one in person again, someone can come up to me and tell me that I'm wrong about the Star Wars soundtracks, and then I'll take out a broadsword of some kind and slice, slice, dead. Um, it, yeah, we've, we, we've held on to this for nearly five years. It's who, uh, if, hey, if that person's out there taking these quizzes, uh, you know what, congratulations, because the amount that you annoyed us in that few <laughs> seconds of uh, of an uh, interaction has lasted for a lifetime. A lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let's bring up the scores though. So we had thirty one teams take part in the November quiz, and we're going from the bottom to the top here. Oh, there's already a little spoiler. You can see it. So in last place, we had fully lublined for your quiz torpedo. Uh, with 15 points, so well done. It was a, I'd say it was a hard quiz as well, as we always do. Um, lower scores, but then the teams at the top, they continue to impress. Um, 24th place with 17 points, Advent Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. <laughs> Avant uh, Guardians. <laughs> it's good. The, these people, the people are good. Um, Bush Administration, 23rd place with 18 points. Why do I keep scrolling the wrong? the wrong way uh 22nd place curse these metal hands with 20 points 21st place uh, a couple of teams tied aquafina quarantimo with 22 points lords of lockdown with 22 points uh my scroll reel it's stuck i've got a stuck scroll wheel uh 20th place the shrekfist club 23 points the elbert squares with 23 points groundhog dames at 19th place with 25 points Rowing as fast as a dog, and everyone above us cheated, tied in 18th place with 26 points apiece. 17th place, insert topical quiz name here with 28 points. 16th place, we had Berry Ship PPEs and Anarchy 99 with 29 points. 15th place, we had the three Quizigos with 31 points. 14th place, 32 points. Les Quizabras, la la, Quizabras, Le Quiz, we'll call them. We'll just go with Le Quiz. <laughs> Uh, 13th place with 34 points. Keanu's Angels, 12th place. The Croydon Facelift Massacre with 36 points. Also in 12th place, the Prince Andrew Cinema. Always love that. Uh, 36 yep. points. <laughs> uh, 11th place with 39 points. The IMD Bartlett's. Uh, I, I like the, the evolution of uh, the names here. Uh, also in 11th place, Lethal Mullet with 39. Fellowship of the Film Buffs breaks the top 10 with 40 points. Uh, ninth place, Peppa Pig World, Fallen United Kingdom with 45 <laughs> points. Um, <laughs> eighth place with 46 points, the Computer War Penny Loafers. <laughs> We're getting some good ones in here. Yeah. Uh, seventh place, Rocky 14, Rocky versus Rambo, Intro the Slivers, Into the Slivers. <laughs> I messed it up and I'm sorry. 47 points, but we're not <laughs> editing it. Um, 40... No, 48 points in sixth place is Walkins Wanderers. And then we get into the top five. And I already know the people at home, the uh, 
the Champions League people, they're already they're already thinking, oh, I can't wait. I, my, my name just has to be above this name, so let's go through them. And what do we got? Sixth place. I already did sixth place, Walkins Wanderers. Fifth place, <laughs> even. Tequila Mockingbird with 50 points. Fourth place with 51 points. We still believe. And then the top three, Team Penis. Protecting everyone's NHS is significant with 62 points. Second place and first place. Here we go. Second place, the Lost Boys need more sax man, 65 points. And, of course, first place, Godzilla vs. Festive Cheer. Team Godzilla back on top again with 69 points. Round of applause. Congratulations. Congratulations. You got a, you got a sun fun thing. <laughs> uh, let's bring up the Champions League bracket, shall we? Let me find yes. it. Let's see how it's going. So this was how we left the Champions League bracket uh, last month. With uh, Godzilla vs. taking on the Rocky 7 Adrian's Revenge. Our team is Bort taking on Walken's Wanderers. The Lost Boys need more sacks with the Lost Boys face-off against We Still Believe and Tequila Mockingbird facing off against Team Penis. Now you saw the standing, so you probably have a good idea how it's ended up. But here is the update. So Godzilla vs. wins 69-47 to and advances. Nice attempt by Team Rocky. But he couldn't come up with it here. And then a close match here. Watkins wanders narrowly, ever so narrowly, by three points, gets the best of our team is borked 48 to 45. And in the Lost Boys off, it was the Lost Boys needed more sacks with 65 points coming up over team we, we still believe with 51. And Team Penis pushes through. 62 to 50 over Tequila Mockingbird, and we have our final four, Adam. We uh, we did say there was some, some tight matchups, to be honest. Yeah. But there has been some definitive winners, definitive winners there, so... <laughs> yes, uh, and three teams over 60, and as we've seen in the past, I mean, even Walkins Wanderers, the last time uh, in the October quiz, got over 60, so... It could be any one of these four teams, uh, depending how the uh, questions turn out for the next quiz. You know, s some things just fall in people's wheelhouses. Um, I know, for instance, uh, the Bond poster round, they, that came up big for Team Godzilla. Uh, and, you know, you never know what's going to fall into somebody's Venn diagram of film knowledge. So uh, we'll see what happens with this final four. And then we're going to get down to uh, those last two off of the next quiz. And uh, who knows when that next quiz is going to be. I certainly don't. As I said, uh, hopefully hopefully in December. But there is a lot of stuff going on in December. So um, if we can do the next quiz in, in December, we will. But if not, we will be stretching into uh, next year to get the next two quizzes out of the way. We will see off the Champions League for sure before we take a little break. Don't you worry. Um, and who knows, maybe it'll be the start of January instead of the end of December. We'll we'll mess around with stuff. Keep people on their toes, I think. Keep everyone on their toes. Film again team included. Yeah, exactly. When's when's the next quiz gonna be? Nobody knows. Not not well, I, I don't even know until the day I decide <laughs> to start making the thing, and then I'm like, I could probably finish it by this <laughs> day. I'll I'll call it out. But um yeah, big congratulations again. To Team Godzilla, and of course to uh, the Final Four, and everyone who took part. So, um, like we always say, we've been doing it now for a while, uh, keeping keeping doing them on Twitch, the live streams, and um, we at least got two more in the tank for this season of Filmageddon. So look forward to that. Um, yeah, and that's that's about it, Adam. I mean, we're not going to do a long one today. Just show our faces say hi to everybody give everybody the update they crave love you and leave you really i think yeah like uh like a jilted love for an east end but when we do be haggard and old and bald mm. Mm. We're, we're gonna i think we're gonna leave that there i i can that's that's too close in the rear view mirror for my for my comfort <laughs> you see it running after me no I'm, <laughs> yeah no it was a good evening it was a good uh it was a good thing it was a great chat as well as i said at the start like just really you know yes familiar faces back and just good laugh just good laugh good laugh yes and uh, oh and maybe 
we'll we'll post so we'll post the scores online and the images and all that and maybe some information about a time people might be able to find us a bit like a where's wally in central london because dare we say we're all we're all in the same ish place soon so there might be a unofficial official possibly filmageddon meet up for at least a drink who knows maybe question mark yeah <laughs> we should say like a we should say a wrong place and then just yeah. see what happens but then we'd have to be there to see the, the fallout we could be like across the street like peering yeah, in. in disguise yeah i have a shrek mask everyone's got a mask on so it's easy everyone has a shrek mask plus it's just you who hosts it so we can just send <laughs> i can send anyone else to just go and look at it <laughs> that's true uh so yeah we'll, we'll have a lot of info we'll drop it on twitter be sure to follow us i'm sure you do all the links below thank you again everybody for doing the quiz and hope to see you at the next one congratulations again to all the teams involved and goodbye bye